Well, Ted, we had talked so much about the injuries and the heartbreak. Sarah, we saw the tears start to flow once you realized that you had made your very first Olympic team, but put into words your thoughts and your emotions when you realized it. I don't even think it sunk in yet. I, I don't even know. I can't even speak right now. I just honestly want to see my family and my coach and then celebrate with my yes. partner tonight. <laughs> so you, the, the water work started for you as well, Cassidy. You're going back to the Olympics for a second time, but the first time in eight years. Yeah. Can you describe what's going through your mind and your emotions? You know, having to bounce back from a lot. And so to be able to share this Olympics with Sarah and do synchro means everything in the world to me. Well, you guys have been friends since you were, what, like eight or yeah. ten years yeah. old. So what extra layer does that add to your Olympic story? Uh, a big one, I think. I mean, we were always uh, a big one, I think. I mean, we were always like going one and two at nationals when we were eight years old, all the way up through our careers. We had injuries at different points and times in our lives. So Synchro for us didn't come along until later in our career, but I mean, she's my best friend and I wouldn't want to do Synchro with anyone else besides her. Well, I'm very happy to say for the first time in Knoxville, we'll see you in Paris. <laughs> Thank you.